how's everybody doing? I'm hanging in there. I just want to first say thank you to everybody who has reached out to me and my family and all your kind words about my mom. And it's just been so nice to be able to, you know, not only feel the love, but to know that so many people were touched by my mom. And, you know, I was like, I'm not going to cry. I just want to say thank you to everybody. But on a crazy note, all these signs keep happening. And I was just curious if this has happened to any of you. I mean, I know people are always like, look for the signs, but I'm not really into that, to be honest. I'm not really a uh, signs. It's not that I'm not into it. I do believe in it to some extent, but I never know you know, you never know. Like sometimes things are a stretch, like, oh, this happened. So I know she's telling me something. It's always like a stretch. It's never like a clear sign. So, and, and I always think about that too with my other grandparents who passed away. I think about them a lot actually. And I'm always like, I wish my grandmother, or my grandfather would send me a sign, but I never know what that sign is. But I do think about them, but I never really see a sign or even my grandfather, even Baba, we had a very close relationship and there are like little things, you know, throughout the year that I see and I'm like, okay, that's a sign, but nothing like super clear, let's say like, you know, maybe like, like even when we were with my mom in the hospital, there was this, I don't even know, some sort of fly bug thing on the window. And when I looked out the window, there was no other fly bug things on anybody else's window except for my mom's window. So Margo and I were like, I wonder if that's Baba or, you know, just you know, looking at her, cause it was weird. Like what the hell? But we're like, why would he come back as that? But anyway, so my point is signs are just wild, but you, you don't always know if it's a sign sign. So a lot of things have been happening in the last few days. And I, I feel like everything is meant to be and happens for a reason. But two main things that I just, I was like, I have to just say something about it cause it's crazy. So, the first thing was I had committed to judging the Missed America pageant already months ago. I was a judge. And of course, my mom died basically, um, you know, so suddenly we had no idea that that was going to happen. And so it happened. And the, the guy that runs the pageant was like, Whitney, do you still want to judge? And I said, yes, because my mom would have loved that. Like she loved entertainment and she loved entertaining. And I thought, you know what, I'm going to still do it. And, and I still was not really myself um, that day. Like, I still kind of am not. But earlier that day, I was like, God, I don't even feel like going. Like, I you know I have to, but I, and, and it's something I was really looking forward to doing. But I knew I had to do it kind of like for my mom in a way. And I went and it was so crazy because, <laughs> like, I didn't even think about it. But the the winner from the previous year, her name is Miss Elaine. And my mom's name is Elaine. So when um, when they did the opening and closing acts, but the opening act, Carson Cressley was talking about, you know, Miss Elaine, Miss Elaine. I'm like, oh my gosh. And on the stage, there was a big star that said Miss Elaine on a star. I couldn't believe it. I was like, I can't believe it. Like, it's almost like it was meant for me to definitely be there. And I felt like my mom was there, you know? And for those of you that know, you know, she loves to sing and dance and she loved watching entertainment. So then the opening and closing act were Miss Elaine. So it was, that was really cool. I mean, these are just small things. So then today I had a meeting in Northfield and I said to myself, you know what? I'm going to go to baristas because first of all, guys, if you have not had breakfast at baristas, like their egg and cheese croissant, everything there is so good. Uh, their avocado toast, like everything is so good there. And I was like, I'm going to baristas and I'm going to get myself a breakfast and then my caramel coconut latte. And I went to baristas and good for them. They were so busy and so packed and I'm just... And normally I don't even care. I'll just wait and like sit somewhere. But today I was like, I don't just don't feel like it. I'm like, I just like, I'm not in the mood to like sit. I wanted to like, part of me wanted to, part of me didn't. So I said, you know what? I'm just going to go. I'm just going to go home. And I said, but you know what? While I'm in town, let me stop at the Summer's Point shop, right? To get a couple of things because they have different meats there that I like I can get whatever. So 
on my, my way driving, I was like, oh, there's that new place called Twist that I've been wanting to go to and everyone talks about their pretzels and all this stuff. So I said, you know what, maybe I'll go there, but they were not open either. So I continued to shop right Summers Point and I get to the parking lot and I just did not want to get out of the car. And I'm like, and that's not like me. Normally I would just push through and get out of the car, go in, do what I got to do. And I just did not feel like it. So I said, you know what? I'm going to go home new road and I'm going to stop at the beach buns place. Cause I always wanted to try their cinnamon bun and I'm not kidding. I've tried to go there so many times and they're never open when I get there. And it's either like they just closed or they're not open that day. So I'm like, whatever, dude, I'm going to freaking go there and try a cinnamon bun if it's the last thing I do. So I said, you know what? I'm going to go there. So I drive down new road and I get to the cinnamon bun place and I order a cinnamon bun and a couple other things that I just hid from Mark, but so hopefully he doesn't see them. And while I was in there, they have coffees and stuff. So I was like, fine, I'll just get an iced coffee. Like I got an iced vanilla latte. I mean, they, they don't have my caramel coconut latte that I love from baristas, but I got an iced vanilla latte and I just got, um, you know, with like a little drizzle and some sort of cool like cold foam thing. So the woman hands me my iced coffee and the cinnamon bun. She warmed it up for me. It was bang in, by the way, bang in cinnamon bun. And she goes, you know what? Let me give you a coffee sleeve for your coffee. Now, normally... I would think a coffee sleeve would go with a hot coffee. I mean, I guess you could have it for both, but I was like, okay. She literally hands me a coffee sleeve. Actually, I can turn this around, hopefully. Look what it says, hold on. Literally, I can't even, I can't, can't even believe this. Look what the, and she not only hands it to me, like, but she turns it towards me. Look what the coffee sleeve says. It literally says, hey, good looking. Like, what are the chances? And you guys know, if you know my mom, you know that's her song. Hey, good looking, what you got cooking? How about cooking something up with me? We sang that, you guys heard us sing it a million times. Like, that is literally crazy. Talk about a sign. Like, I just found it, just could not believe it. So anyway, I just had to share that with everybody. And I even told Mark because there's other things that have been happening too with certain numbers and uh, and it's been weird. But Mark's like, yeah, some of those were a stretch, but this is like a sign. I'm like, thank you. And even Mark said that. So I'm like, okay. Anyway, I just had to tell everybody that. I just thought it was so cool. And um, I was just curious if, if other people have seen signs or had signs like that as well, you know, that relate to whatever situation you've had. Anyway, I just wanted to share it with everybody, and um, uh, I, I do want to do another live at some point to talk about my mom, but I haven't been able to, to do it. All right, I'm going to go before I start crying. Okay, bye guys. Thank you so much.